No. Man, this looks like shit. Yes, this looks so much better. Hey, what is up guys? Back at it again with another tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how I got that look in my apartment and using very low budget equipment. So one of the things that I try to push on this channel is the idea to be resourceful with whatever equipment you have and not be so quick to just spend all your money on buying the latest and greatest equipment. Golly, this rig is heavy. So as you can see behind me, this mess right here is the setup that I used to get that cinematic dramatic look. Oh, my arm. I'm definitely not as strong as I once was. Anyway, let's get started. You're going to follow me on my step-by-step -step process on how I got that look. First thing you want to do is turn off all the unnecessary lights. All right, the second thing I'm going to do is turn on my key light. Now, what I'm using for the key light is this newer ring light. This cost me about 100 bucks on Amazon, and I absolutely love it. The key light is going to be the main light source that's going to be illuminating our subject, me. All right, the next thing I want to do is get some backlight going. The backlight is going to illuminate me from behind, separating me from the background. And for that, I'm going to use this Aperture Amaran ALH198. I think I got that right. It's also about 100 bucks on Amazon. Okay, looking pretty good. So we have my ring light as a key light, the Aperture Amaran H whatever as my backlight. And to make my face look a little bit more flattering, I'm having a fill. Um, so I'm having the light bounce off of this back end of my whiteboard to bounce up into my chin area so that way on the camera, which is way over there, which is the A6400 with a Rokinon 85, when that light is bouncing into my chin, I won't look so fat. It kind of hides my double chin. And since the background is looking a little dull just being dark like that, let's add some color. These are just some LED light strips that I got from Five Below. So there were five bucks. I think you get six feet and they look pretty nice. They're RGB. You could change them any color you want. This is just some cheap ass photography light that I got for Christmas. It's around 20 bucks for a pair. So $10 each. I have another one somewhere here, but I'm not using it for this setup. We got some more RGB LED lights back here. This is the Young Note 360. This you could change into any color if you want. I'm gonna stick with this purplish color and I'm gonna use it to illuminate this DIY uh, sound panel down here. It's just a cool pattern, gives the background some texture. And that's about it. That is all there is to it to get some dramatic cinematic lighting. Everyone else is buying these super expensive thousand dollar lights. I'm doing fine with my hundred dollar light, hundred dollar light, and some five dollar RGB LEDs back there. So that's it, a super quick tutorial on how to get some dramatic cinematic lighting. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't be shy to show me some love. Hit that like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.